Okay, welcome live here at EMC World. This is exclusive live coverage of EMC World. We have a special breaking news. We have the CEO of Fusion IO, Shane Robeson, newly at the helm as of today. Uh, There's big news, Shane. Uh, first, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate it, uh, uh, taking the time to come on and talk to us on theCUBE at SiliconANGLE uh, and Wikibon. Big news out of Fusion today. Tell us about what's happening. There's a lot of data circulating. We want to just hear from you about the news. Well, the news, I think, was a big surprise to a lot of people. You know, and it's really, this is an opportunity-based set of decisions. We believe that we've got a great foundation that have been laid by the founders. These are guys who are very, very innovative entrepreneurs and have taken the company through the startup phase, through the initial public offering. And now the board has spent a lot of time on studying the company's opportunity in the market and strategy we, we all believe in. And so this was a decision that was really based on operationally, how do we capitalize on the opportunity we have in front of us and take this company to the next level. So we're here, we're here at EMC World, and the big news here, one of the big stories, is EMC's flash on, on trying to the flash market. Fusion IO is, is considered, and certainly by us, we've been covering it, the company, since it's been private, as the bellwether, certainly in this massive innovation disruption around changing architectures, the modern era of computing, the data center consumerization of IT, and so the market uh, is, get, is reacting in a weird way, because of the one lack of data, as you mentioned, but uh, negatively on the news, people are speculating that there's something wrong with the company, a business model change, was there something going on with the founders? I mean, what is the story? Because you, know, you guys are the bellwether, again, people are pacing off this. We heard, we're hearing from all kinds of folks in the Flash community, and then this scale out, hyperscale marketplace is, is looking to you guys. So is this an indication of the business, Fusion IO? Can you clarify um, some of those rumors? Yeah, let me, let me give you some very specific, clear messages. Because there's been a lot of speculation you know, when you, when you make an announcement like we did, which is a surprise to the market, there's a lot, always a lot of speculation about what's the story behind the story. So there's two or three points that's really important for you to get. One, this is not a problem with the company. The company's in very good shape. We're the industry leader. We innovate faster than everybody else. We will continue to do that. Two, did the two founders do something wrong? Absolutely not. This is. They're great guys, they've brought the company to where it's at now, and that is not the issue here. Three, is the company for sale? We're not working on that. The board did not ask me to take this position so that we could dress the company up and sell it. This is all about how do we grow the company and take advantage of the market opportunity that we see in front of us. We need to continue to innovate faster than anybody in the industry. I have an enormous respect for EMC. As you know, I've been in the IT industry for a long time. But I think we're the leaders and we continue to drive to maintain that leadership position. We're going to expand into new markets. And you've seen the work we've done with our next gen acquisition. We get into the mid market. We're going to expand internationally. And it's just an exciting time to be at the center of the information technology explosion. So Shane, this is Dave Vellante. We've, we've been covering Fusion IO since the very early days. We've always loved the innovation, particularly the emphasis on software and the new style of computing that, that you guys are, are going after. My specific question is, what do you bring to the table uh, and what is your vision for Fusion IO going forward? Well, one of the questions we get is, is this a big change in strategy and did you disagree with David? Absolutely not. David and I have worked very closely together the last couple of years we spent just because of my IT experience and his background, you know, there's there's a lot of synergy there. And I completely agree with him. He agrees with me on vision for where the industry is going and what the strategy is. I mean, obviously we'll fine tune it, which you know he will be part of. David's going to stay on the board. He's going to be an advisor for some period of time with me, so we'll be able to take advantage of his expertise. This is not a strategy change. And the vision about delivering data faster, more efficiently, more reliably with these new, new architectures is exactly the same as what we're going to continue to execute. So what do you bring specifically that uh, the board is looking for in this next 30, era? 30 years of operational experience in multiple market segments, uh, multiple businesses that are as big or bigger than, than Fusion IO, and, and just lots of uh, deep technology expertise that complements that as well. Shane, this is uh, John Furrier. I want to ask you specifically about um, um, yourself and your experience. Um, we've talked to a lot of our sources that know you personally and, and close friends to, in our network. 
um, have the highest respect for you, you have a really great reputation, um, and obviously with HP they had that autonomy um, disaster and they're being sued on that, but you've done a lot of good acquisitions at HP, 3Com, Optware, Mercury, you've been involved in a lot, as well as a lot of other groundbreaking uh, strategy that you laid out that may or may not have materialized. Can you take, uh, can share with us that uh, perspective because Fusion IO has a huge opportunity in this, what I call hyperscale enterprise. You guys have certainly done well and set the market at the high end. Um, you have to look at the strategy, but also the execution. You, you, you have a great reputation on the strategy, you, you have been involved in some M&A, some successful ones, some good ones as I pointed out, uh, and as well as now an emerging market leader and in new territory in this hyperscale enterprise. Can you talk about what you're looking at in that market? Well, I'm not sure I understand the question. The market opportunity that we're looking at is, is really continuing to build on the lead we already have. If you're asking me who, who we're looking at in terms of M&A, we look at the whole landscape and we've just recently made some fairly big acquisitions. So as you guys know, and as I know from experience, it's not hard to do deals, it's hard to make them work. So I'm going to be very focused on making sure that we don't lose any momentum in next gen and some of the other acquisitions we've uh, just as a follow up on that, the, the software mo model's changing. Obviously software defined data center is a big buzzword, certainly here at EMC World, and software defined networking has evolved into that destination as we call it. Um, one of the things that Fusion IO has been promoting and, and we've been, been, been bullish on is this new architecture around memory and software writing, especially around Linux. Can you talk about what this means and certainly for ISVs in particular uh, with the company? Is that still on course and, and can you elaborate more on that strategy? Yeah, that's absolutely on course. This whole strategy around open platforms and SDKs and you know, building an ecosystem around the technology that, that I think we can deliver better than anybody else absolutely consistent with the strategy. And we'll continue to build that out. We'll have a blend in our business of software-oriented stuff, systems, and then the traditional scale-out data center. Yeah, you guys have obviously made some progress in that regard. Specifically, I'm talking about getting ISVs to write to your, your SDK. Uh, MySQL, the Percona version, is, is one. Uh, I, I would imagine that's a very high priority for you, uh, but I'm, I'm asking, can you just sort of re-emphasize that? Uh, and, and what kind of skills do you feel you need to surround yourself with to make that uh, vision uh, happen, i.e. the ISVs actually writing to your platform? Well, I think we're in the early stages. I mean, as you know, these ISV platforms take a little time to really get traction and momentum. I think we're in the early stages, but as you pointed out, we're seeing some very good traction and very good success. And so we need good evangelists, we need people who understand and appreciate the whole concept of open platforms and open source as we go out and build out you know, the, the basic foundation that people can build on top of. So last question I have is, what should observers uh, be looking at uh, for, for Shane Robeson, for Fusion IO over the, over the near to midterm? What are the, 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 the pieces that we should be watching that are critical? You know, I think really the thing to watch short and medium term is execution. Like I said, we, we believe in the strategy. We have uh, reiterated our financial guidance and we just now need to execute on the plans we have in place, and then we will be talking to you about next generation ideas and things that are building on the foundation that we've put in place. Shane, thank you very much. We're here live on theCUBE, siliconangle.com, siliconangle.tv, and wikibon.org's coverage of the news around Fusion IO's new CEO, clarifying the discussion and the data and the rumblings around this transition. Congratulations, and uh, we'll certainly be following up with you. Thanks for taking the time to come on theCUBE here at EMC World remotely via Skype to address and clarify uh, the situation at Fusion IO. Thank you so much. Thanks for the time, guys. I look forward to talking again. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll be right back with more uh, exclusive coverage from EMC World right after this short break. I want to thank Shane Roberson and the Fusion IO folks for coming on theCUBE. Uh, we've been following Fusion IO for a long, long time, and Dave and I are, were kind of shocked by the news, but getting the data directly from the company is the only way to go. That's the way we like it, direct. And theCUBE, there's no misinterpretation. You heard it right from the CEO, what's going on. And we'll be right back with more exclusive coverage, and we'll break this down further later in the segments. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>